guys, I'm going to share with you how to build this simple animation rotated banner here with some really cool stuff. Drop shadows. Notice when I hover over, it increases the size. You can make this whatever size you want. This uses no jQuery, no JavaScript, strictly CSS rules. I'm going to show you how to build this from scratch. If this is what you're going to get when you buy my CS6 tutorials Dreamweaver, so you should go to thinklearn.com and buy my tutorials, support what I do. This is the, just a fraction of my knowledge base of what I'm going to share with you, how to build. So I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and show you how to build this. It's not going to be very detailed. You get the details, you get the files, you get everything you need to basically get this complete course for a simple fee of $109. So if you respect what I do, get off your butt, spend money, invest in your future, buy my tutorials. Okay, so here we are inside the Dreamweaver. This is a simple, simple page. Notice my CSS rules here. It's very straightforward. It's simply just a wrapper tag with a footer tag, a body tag, a header tag. Now, what makes this work here are these class tags. These class tags, it's this simple class tag. This is a photo class tag. But this, what makes the CSS work is the Moz transition, WebKit transition, and default CSS transitions set to keyframe. Keyframe is code for changing your animation. So I'm going to show you how to build this. More detail, you get the files, everything you need when you buy my complete CS6 tutorials, which will be out five business days after the Adobe CS6 launch. So if you respect what I do and you care about learning marketable techniques, this is the series for you. So stop wasting time. Go to my Think Learn, Earn website. Buy the video series. You'll have free updates for 18 months. If you don't think my knowledge is worth 100 bucks, you know what? Then don't subscribe to my service. Then stop watching my free stuff. I've been posting free stuff for two years, guys. I've given a lot to you guys for free. So if you respect what I do, you'll definitely go to thinklearnearn.com and support my new video series. Okay, so if you look at the CSS code for this here, this is simply basic straightforward stuff here. Okay, the key here is this is the keyframes move picks. So I want to share something with you. This can be called anything you want. We could have called this super duper animation. Notice over here, I have a rule for move my picks. Move my picks is just an identifier to identify the keyframes to move across the page. I just want to share something very important with you. Okay, the way that the whole CSS structure work is based on rules and tags. Similar to my previous videos, the tag has to exist for the rule to be applicable. So the whole objective here, you want to talk to tags. So as an example, this photograph has been tagged with an image tag. It's been assigned a class tag of first photo. The subsequent tags have been assigned a class tag of photo banner. Now, this is totally made up. You can call this whatever you want. So let's look at the rule. Let's double click on this. Let's look at the rule for this. So this, if you go through this, the only thing this has associated to for photo banner is I want to make my photo banner wider than my page. So this particular case, this is 355 pixels, 3,550 pixels. This could have been 4,000 pixels. I'll object if you're, I want to get wider than my page or whatever the width of your image is going to be. Okay, now for this guy, if you click here, and I'm gonna to go to the code here, I'm gonna control key, and I'm going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to control key, go to, go to code. So there's my code for that right here. So this is very, very straightforward. This is telling this to basically move across the page using the method in three seconds. So basically it's going to move across the page three seconds. Okay, so one would give you one second. Point three would give you point three seconds. My well, mistake, I meant to say point three. Now we could say E is hyphen in. 
or is hyphen out or is hyphen in out. Now the difference here until this works all modern browsers but you have to put the Microsoft expression here the MozKit WebKit expression here to make it work across browsers for older browsers as well. So this is the technique used for talking to that particular tag because it's tagged we're just applying rules to it. Okay so it's real that simple. So I have something called first photo. First photo is basically going to go across the page infinite. These are simple CSS rule definitions for transitions for navigation. Okay. Then here's the piece of resistance. Now let's go look at that file again for a second. Notice when I put my cursor over here, it increases the size. It increases the size when? Okay. It increases the size on the hover. So therefore I simply have photo banner class image tag, image tag pseudo class hover. Just like the link tag hover, this is a hover for the image tag. So what I'm basically saying is whatever size is by default, we want to make it 1.3 times bigger or 130%. So basically it's scaling up 130%. So that's what's causing that to happen. So if I go to design mode and I go to Right now, I have my CSS rules off. I can turn my CSS rules back on by clicking right here. Okay, then I go to live view, and I can see my page happening across the page. Okay, so if I click here, that's going to increase the size. If I let go, I'm sorry, hover. If I hover, that's going to increase the size. So let's come back out of live view. Okay, so here's a slightly different version with the photos that are a little larger, similar to what you saw on the website. So this is simply moving across the page. When I hover, it increases the size. Now, in my premium video, that hopefully you'll purchase for 109 bucks, I will show you how to basically center this to the window, make it bigger, maybe open up the original photo, etc., etc. This is just a tidbit. What I'm going to be doing in my free tutorials from now on is basically showcasing the stuff that you're going to find in my premium videos, okay? It's not that I don't want to offer free stuff. I do, but at the same time, I need to basically be supported with my knowledge. As an example, I have my training studio in New York City. People spend thousands of dollars to come to me to see, to, to see me for training. So I can't basically put a hold on that and offer free videos at the same time. So in order to subsidize my knowledge online, I need some kind of support from you guys. Now, asking for $100 for an 18-month video series is a drop in the bucket. I would assume, if you're going to use this professionally, that $100 is not going to make or break your budget. So if you support what I do, now for those of you that really, 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 really can't afford $100, no disrespect, but perhaps this is not the, the venue for you. Perhaps web development is not what you need to do. If you want to get serious about web development, you need to have top skills, which means you need to invest into your future. Okay? So I assume, because you support my channel here with subscribe, by subscribing to it, that, I, that you understand what I do and respect my knowledge. My knowledge can't be found other places. So again, I just want to share with you you get a lot of cool stuff from this YouTube video channel for free, but here I'm in. It's basically going to be the highlights of my premium service. I'm not going to go into great detail any longer with my free videos on YouTube. That's just how it works, guys. I've done two years of free stuff. So it's not that I don't want to help people. I do. But at the same time, I need to be respected for what I do. So let's break this down. Let's break this down again. So the secret to this is the transition, which is listed right here. I'm using CS5.5. Treat me for CS5.5. This appears here. If you're using older versions of Dreamweaver, CS4 or CS5, you have the HTML kit from Adobe.
then you have to physically go to your code to do this. So if you keep in mind very simply, all Dreamweaver does is write code. It writes code. So you can always go to your code, but what I try to share with my students on YouTube and other places is stay away from the code. It's important to understand what the code does, but it's not necessary to go to your code because that's what the Dreamweaver interface does, unlike other tutorials out there. My tutorials are very straightforward. My tutorials are sophisticated, but they're sophisticated in their simplicity. My whole goal is to make this so simple that somebody with no knowledge can do this. Okay, so my objective is to make things very, very simple for you. Your objective is to learn these skills and more importantly, go to my thinklearnearn.com website and get off your butts and buy my videos. Now, if that sounds like harsh reality, guys, well, if you want free, long-winded stuff, then go check out other people's videos on YouTube. They don't do what I do. If you respect what I do, then support me by buying the videos. If not, quite frankly, guys, don't subscribe to my service and go someplace else because they'll be more than happy to waste your time with code. If you want to learn how to write code, then go check other people's videos. If you want to learn how to make money and have top skills and benefit from my 25 years of doing Adobe professional software training, then respect what I do. Step up to the pump. Go to your couch. Dig down on the sides. Pull out all the quarters and nickels that fell out of your pockets. Go to your peanut jar. Un unlock the cap. Take out your laundry money and step up to the pump and buy my videos. I can't be more blunt than that. I'm here to help you, but you have to help yourself. So in addition to this, you can learn a lot of cool stuff. You can learn how to build e-commerce sites, mobile apps. It's a complete series A through Z. But again, that $109 fee, by the way, is only good for the first 200 people who sign up. So far, I've only had about 70 people sign up in a two-week period, which I think is not good. It's not good. Because that just tells me at roughly 1,600 subscribers that most of you either you don't care about what I do or, or you just don't want to support what I do. Because if you have Dreamweaver, first of all, Dreamweaver is not a cheap program. So if you, can support, if you can afford to spend money on Dreamweaver, you can certainly afford to spend and invest not into me, into yourself, learning proper skills. So go to thinklearn.com and buy my video. That's enough of this. Talk to you soon. Carpe diem. Enjoy your day. Again, go to your couch. Get all those quarters that fell down between the cushions. Put it in a big jar. And I'm sure that's going to come up to at least 100 bucks. If not, borrow money from your mother. I'm sure you can borrow money from your parents. Talk to you soon. Just kidding about that. Carpe diem. Have a good day.